The cornerstone of the multi-million dollar venture that modern surfing has become is the manufacture of surfboards. Uh, our facilities, since I started out in a double car garage, have grown to what we have now, which is the largest surfboard factory in the world. It represents 20,000 square feet of working space, and during the summer months, we employ as many as 50, gee, last summer was 56. This, this coming summer, we'll probably get up into 70, 75 employees. I've known Fred and Paul and Butch for years. I went to high school in the islands, and uh, I've been, I think this next trip will be my 17th trip to the islands and I surf with them every year. And uh, these guys are some of the best surfers in the world, and when, when they get that good, each one of them have a, uh, a definite style and particular likes and dislikes in a board. Traditional surfing has given birth to a broadening spectrum of activity, equipping and attiring the thousands of fans throughout the world who engage in skateboarding, sand surfing, body surfing, and mat surfing has become a significant feature of 20th century economy. In surfing lingo, a hot dogger is a surfer who specializes in fast turns, tricky footwork, fancy stances, and a snappy style of board riding. In modern surfing, hot doggers are found even where there is no water. And to a surfer, hanging tan on the sun-baked sands of Arizona is just as hairy as shooting the curl in Durban, South Africa. And wherever you find it, a wipeout is still the same. Body surfing is rapidly growing in popularity. And skilled body surfers feel they are able to achieve a unique intimacy with danger. Another recent innovation in aquatic sports is mat surfing. It is especially popular among youngsters unable to afford an expensive surfboard. For champions Fred Hemmings and Paul Strau, surfing is the hub around which their lives revolve. Their days are spent at the seashore. At night, when they gather at the ocean's edge for dancing and hijinks, there is an eager expectancy about their parties. The big wave may break at any moment, and the shout of surfs up will echo along the beach. In Hawaii, the time of waiting is filled with a traditional luau. In Malibu, it might be a beach party. In Maine, they call them powwow. But however they're known, they are only a way of passing time until the big one hurdles towards shore. <laughs> Surfers are by definition adventuresome folk. Even in their music, they are not content with traditional forms. Instead, they have developed the surfing beat. The surfer stomp is one of surfdom's most famous terpsichorean exercises. And they have even managed to embellish such classic dances as the Watusi. Professionals will return in just a moment.